Hey, Demon Driver here. Thanks for joining me. I'm going to show you how to take painter's tape and cordon off your RC airplane and show you how to basically paint your plane down by us using painter's tape and you can basically paint it any color you want and not destroy the other color that's already on there. Okay, let's get working. Alright, so uh, we're now in the workshop. Um, there are both, here are both of the uh, DO228s. Here's the Jama Air Jamaica uh, DO228 right here. And uh, she's about a year old now, a little, eh, a little over a year. And here is the brand new, the second DO228, my um, NCA of Japan DO228 commuter plane. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, mask down the lower, the lower belly of it and paint it uh, navy blue. All right. Well, the first thing I have, I have to do is retract the uh, landing gear, get those down. Uh, taped off the uh, wheels. They're all taped off so I don't get paint on them. All right, there are two types of uh, painter's tape that I use. The first is uh, readily available at um, Home Depot, um, Lowe's, Walmart. It's frog tape, painter's tape. And uh, basically what it is is basically it's um, masking tape. It's, it's line tape. It's separation tape. So you can... Um, you know, tape down an area, cordon off an area that you want to uh, mask and tape and uh, split, you know, protect paint and do all those things and um, it's anywhere from seven dollars to twelve dollars for a um, amount like this and then there's a smaller one from Tamiya and uh, this is a masking tape from Tamiya and it's anywhere from seven to nine ten dollars. This is finer, this is uh, thinner, this is a thinner tape. This is really for um, very intricate detailed work on smaller models but it does the same thing. And mainly the way it works is the adhesive, the glue, the glue inside the tape glue itself is uh, very fine and uh, it creates a really, a really good barrier that the paint that you're spraying down won't penetrate as long as you press it down properly. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to cordon off the lower belly area of this um, NCA DO228. Alright, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the tape and cordon off the upper half of the 228. See, let me hold this up for you. See, the lower belly, the whole lower belly is to be uh, painted navy blue to match the paint scheme, the library of the NCA DO228 of the photos you saw in the beginning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the thick frog tape, painter's tape, and uh, cordon off the top half with this tape. I'm going to lay it out, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, one of the things I want to make sure I do before I paint is I've got the uh, nose wheel well here, right in there, and I'm going to take a little bit of clear tape, and I'm just going to tape off the retract the best I can. The wheel itself is already taped off, but I want to... I want to protect the uh, mechanism and not have that painted blue. You really you want to keep your retract mechanism free, and you don't want to gunk it up with uh, with uh, paint because if paint gets stuck inside the mechanism, it's going to gunk it up. It's going to it's going to foul up the works, and it's not going to work properly. So what I'm going to do is right now I'm 
going ahead and uh, pulling off a section of this frog tape, this frog tape masking tape, and as I said, I'm going to cordon off the upper half of the DO228 and leave the lower area bare so that, uh, you know, I can go ahead and paint that. So I'm going to start off and lay, lay it down along the line. See, I drew a line with a marker, and I'm going to pull this out like so. I'm going to pull it out. being mindful of not letting it droop back down onto the fuselage. All right, there you go. And cut a length. And then what I do is I take it and I very gently guide it down along the line that I have pre-drawn. This is, this takes a little bit of finesse. Some people, it's relatively easy. What you do is you come down and you look at the line. Boom. And there we are. There we are. You take your thumbs, your fingers, and you press the tape down onto the surface. If you don't do that, it's pointless. It won't work. You have to press the tape down onto the surface. Get a little bit more to do the end. Now, don't forget, I got the tam I got the thinner Tamiya uh, painter's tape. And I'm going to use that also. I'm going to use that on the nose. Thinner tape, thinner line tape goes around corners much easier than the thicker stuff. Thicker stuff is really good for a flat surface or the fuselage length, you know, like the L1011, the fuselage tube itself, the wide stuff is great. But, uh, and the main reason for this tape is the fact that when you pull it up and off, it uh, it doesn't take the tape. It doesn't take the paint that you already have down with it. A lot of tapes are just not designed for this. And when you pull the tapes up, what will happen nine out of ten times? It takes the paint with it. Now I'm going to show you a trick here. Now this is uh, cling wrap, Glad cling plastic wrap. Um, and I'm going to pull out a section, and I'm going to use this to cover the rest of the fuselage. By doing this, you save tape. Some guys will use automotive paper, auto, automotive masking paper that you use in a, in a body shop. It's uh, kind of a brownish, grayish paper. And that's fine. You can use that. That's fine. And what I do is I just lay that out like that. I take it. This is just Reynolds wrap or Glad wrap, whatever the hell you know, whatever whatever version you have access to use, or use the painter's paper. You know, use the automotive uh, masking paper. Use that if you have that. That's fine. But use what is available and what you have available to you. Use it. If you have the good stuff, use the good stuff. If you have if you have cling wrap, if you have masking tape, if you got this stuff, use it. If you have, if you have the cling wrap, use that too. That's fine. So what I do is I take regular clear tape, and I tape this plastic glad wrap to the painting tape so that it stays where it needs to stay. Take that and I tape it right to it, right to the surface, right to that. So that way, this tape is going to hold the cling wrap to the fuselage. 
this is protecting the rest of the fuselage from the navy blue paint that I'm going to paint here. And this is inexpensive. This is a cheap way of doing it where I'm not wasting I'm not wasting painter's tape. Painter's tape is expensive. This is seven dollars, eight, nine, ten dollars a roll. This is seven, eight, ten dollars a roll. That gets expensive and you use it up on one plane. That's a lot of that's a lot of gold lame, as they say. That is a lot of gold lame. So you gotta, you know. You got to be sparing with your materials. Now, of course, I want to cordon off the uh, elevator, the stabilizer, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get uh, some cling wrap and wrap that around. Now, the other thing you want to make sure is when you do this and you use the cling wrap, make sure that you get it secure to the surface so that it doesn't hang off, because if it hangs off, it could fall back on top of your paint that you just painted. It could fall back on the surface and ruin your day. It'll come loose. And, like I'm going to paint this outside. I'm going to paint this uh, belly outside. And while I'm outside, a bit of wind could come along and really disrupt everything, and that would really ruin my day. That's what I wouldn't want to have happen. Now, I'm going to show you how the thinner tape comes into play. Watch this. Okay, here's where the thinner tape comes into play. The nose of the DO228. What happens is the thicker, wider frog tape doesn't go around curves that well. So what I do is I use the thinner Tamiya mask, uh, painter's masking tape to go around a curve. And if you really want to go around extreme curves, you gotta, there's even thinner stuff. There's real like detailers masking tape. Now see what I'm doing? I place it along the line, even it up with the first bit of uh, tape I put down, and then I just, following the line I already drew with a pen, I very gently and even that it didn't want to go around the corner that well. And Then you gotta press it down with your fingers. You press, press that down press that down and then we're gonna flip it and do the same thing what you just saw me do I'm gonna flip it now flip the DO228 and do the same thing but before I do that I'm gonna tape the masking tape with the painters tape against the fuselage so it doesn't fall back over see I'm wrapping this around and I'm using tape to do that. See? So that way when I flip it the saran wrap doesn't fall back off and, and come back over. You understand what I'm saying? It stays where I want it to stay. I'm hoping to have this plane at Joan All this year so that's why I'm uh, trying to get this thing done. I hate war I hate rushing. Oh god, I hate working and, and rushing at the same time. I hate it. So I'm gonna do exactly what I did on the other side, I'm gonna do it now on this side. Do the same thing. So what I've done is I've laid the tape along the fuselage. There's the line. Upper half, lower half. Navy blue. That's gonna stay gloss white. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna paint this lower section. And this painter's tape cordons off that belly so I can do it. That's the point of it. All right, next we're gonna get painting. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna spray, I'm gonna shake this up. First thing is first, shake up your paint for at least 30 seconds. Shake this up for at least 30 seconds, get it nice and shaken up. The older it is, the longer you wanna shake it because it's been sitting. This is, this paint's probably a year and a half old, so it's navy blue, Krylon, gl uh, gl uh, gloss blue. 
hitting the belly. It's going to be a Japanese NCA DO228. So I'm going to put my respirator on and get painting. First thing is you start with little, little shots and you continuously move. Keep your hand from, keep your hand about uh, at least 10 to maybe 15 inches. 8 to 10, 15, the farther you are away, the more paint you're going to waste. But you don't want to glob up the paint, so you got to finesse it. So I'm going to do a test, a test shot. Oh, that's good. Okay, there you go. Alright, I'm going to wait for a little while, let that coat dry, and then come back and keep applying the coat. You can't hear me with this thing on. Um, I'm going to keep coming back in and keep applying the coats, and probably about the third coat, the blotchiness that you see won't be there. It'll all be one steady uh, shade of blue. Doing this in the sunlight, in the day, outside, is the best way, the best way to make sure that you don't, you see all the blotchiness, you see whatever imperfections, you're going to see them in the daylight. So if you really want to paint your RC airplane, airliner, fighter jet, whatever, do it in the daytime, preferably in the sun, in the shade of course, because sometimes out in the sun, having the paint in the sun, can cause it to dry prematurely, dry unevenly. So you want to do this in the shade. That's just been my, you know, that's been my knowledge, of, you know.
like that. That's good. So that's a first good coat. I'll wait. Come in, second coat, third coat. By the third coat, it will all be one steady navy blue. And she'll look beautiful. That's how you do it, guys. So then I'll come back in after the three coats are on. And uh, once it's dried, I will go ahead and pull, very carefully pull all the masking tape off, all the saran wrap, pull it all off very carefully after it's dried. If you try and do this when it's still wet, you run the risk of touching the paint, having the, the saran wrap uh, blow back in the wind or something and touch and damage the paint and, uh, and screw it up. So you really want to give everything time to dry before you mess with it. Okay, after applying several coats of paint, let's see what we've got. Let's go ahead and remove. Let's go ahead and remove the uh, tape from the plane, from our DO228, our NCA DO228. What I'm going to do is I'm going to very gently take the paint, take the um, take the tape and the saran wrap off the top half of the DO228 very gently, very carefully. Make sure the paint is nice and dry. I'm just going to slowly peel away the saran wrap.
Okay, now I'm removing the final bit of uh, yellow tape. Tater's tape. All the saran wrap is gone. And a couple of areas of bleed through, you're always going to have that. Paint, in some cases, is always going to get through in, in small amounts, but it's really not that bad. So I just gently pull the uh, tape back like this. The slower the better. And see, while I'm doing this, I've got to make sure that the paint is dry, and it is. So I'm pretty happy with how it came out. Very happy with how it came out. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Really came out looking good. It's going to be a good looking NCA D0228, no doubt about it. A couple of small areas of bleed through in the nose. Not that big of a deal. On the NCA livery, like you see in those photos in the beginning, there are more stripes. There are more stripes that I'll cover that with, and you will ne you'll never even see that. But anytime you use um, painter's tape, you're going to have some bleed through. Um, it's just kind of nature of the beast, but it will be very minimal. And the advantage is once you pull the tape off the plane, um, it's not going to rip the rest of the paint with it. So that's the advantage of painter's tape, that if you use regular uh, packing tape or other kind of masking tape, scotch tape, once you pull the tape off, it's going to tear the paint off with it. So that's the advantage of this stuff. And um, you know, I'm pretty, uh, pretty happy with the results. Thank you for watching, and that is how you use painter's tape to cordon off areas of your RC airplane in order to put one coat of paint on without disturbing the other coat that's already on there. And to have a nice crisp line, you use this tape. And if you're careful and you are, you know, delicate, you can really make it work. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.